NCN 5150 is a single-chip integrated slave transceiver for use in two-wire meetable slave devices and repeaters. The 5150 is available in two or six programmable power levels which are available for use in external circuits through a 3.3 volt LDO regulator. The equipment we will be needing today to test the NCN 5150 will be an oscilloscope to measure our waveforms. We will be using a signal function generator capable of producing a square wave high Z output, 15 volt peak to peak and up to 19.2 kilohertz frequency. We'll also need a DC power supply capable of producing up to 42 volts, limiting the current at 100 milliamp. The negative will be connected to the board, like so. The positive will be in series to achieve the 42 volts. This will be connected in series to our ammeter to measure our input current and then to the board. We'll also need a voltmeter to measure our output voltage. For test 1, to measure our output voltage, we'll be using a jumper wire and pin 6 using ground to our voltmeter and another jumper wire to pin 10, 3V3, to the positive of the voltmeter. The first part of this test requires the DC power supply being set to 42 volts, limiting the current at 100 milliamps. To perform the test one measurements, we'll be looking at our input current. This should be between 1.2 milliamps and 1.5. The normal reading is 1.3 milliamps. We'll be checking our output voltage. This should be between 3.1 volts and 3.6 volts. The normal reading is 3.3 volts. For the second part of test one, we will again be using pin six for ground and pin 1 PF to measure our output voltage. Again, the figures should be about 1.3 milliamps and 3.3 volts output voltage. For the receive operation test, we'll be setting the function generator to high Z output square wave, 15 volt peak to peak and the frequency to 19.2 kilohertz. The function generator will be connected in series to the negative of the power supply and from the function generator to the board, like so. The DC power supply will be set to 30 volts, limiting the current at 100 milliamps. The power supply will go directly to the board. For test 3, we'll be connecting two probes. One probe will be connected to pin 7, TX, and the other to pin 9, TXI. Both probes will be using will be connected to pin 6, ground. Once our probes have been connected to the board and our DC power supply is turned on at 30 volts, we can see on our oscilloscope there are two square waveforms that are logically inverted and our frequency is approximately 19.2 kHz. This concludes our demonstration of the NCN 5150 wired MBUS transceiver. For more information, please visit www.onsemi.com or contact an authorised distributor.